Well, we're going to have a little Super Bowl fun today. I have an easy recipe for macaroni and cheese, and you don't even have to pre-cook the macaroni. But here's the big deal. We're going to make it just like a football field. One team, the New England Patriots, are getting Maine lobsters, and the other side I'm doing Philly cheesesteak on top. And I'm really excited because... 5-0 Donuts came through for both the Eagles and the New England Patriots. So we'll cheer everybody on and hopefully really good commercials. And we'll get started in just a few minutes. And this will be a really fun dish for you to have at your next Super Bowl party, which will be here before you know it. So I already started the onions and peppers for the cheese steak. Now, a really quick tip if you're gonna be cutting your own steak, what I do is I can just get really thin cut steaks, put the whole packet in the freezer for one hour. Then you'll be able to cut the steak shaved really nice and thin. That works for if you're cutting flank steak for Chinese style wok stirring, but it's a great cooking tip to remember. One hour in the freezer, it'll get it firm enough to make it really easy to cut. Let's get over to the blender. So, this is a recipe that I originally found from the New York Times, which I really love their recipes. I adapted it slightly, so this will be a lot of fun. We're gonna take four cups of whole milk, cause I'm gonna make sure I make a big enough batch to feed, you know, a big pan. This is pretty rich, so it's gonna feed a good 12 people. So we're doing two, two cups of full fat cottage cheese to four cups of whole milk. Now we're gonna take in the shredded Vermont cheddar cheese. So the Patriots may start out with the lead because they're gonna have more of their cheese in it. And then we'll get some shredded provolone. Now to that, we're going to add a little cayenne pepper and just about a half a teaspoon of ground mustard, salt and pepper, and remember, cheese has the salt effect in it, so you don't want to over-season. You can always go back. Okay, going to get a little loud if we get that on. We're going to blend this together so it really makes this really good cheese sauce. And then what I'm going to do when we come back is we're going to take a pound of uncooked macaroni. We're going to stir it all together, layer it up. One side provolone for Philly, and one side with Vermont cheddar, and then we got the toppings. I'll be back in a few minutes to cook some more. Let's get back to the kitchen now and check in again with ABC7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher, who has some delicious treats for the big game on Sunday. That's right. We're going with both teams. So first with the macaroni and cheese. I took the cottage cheese and the milk, a little powdered mustard, cayenne, salt and pepper. That got blended up, okay, in the Vitamix. Then I poured in a pound for a double batch. You're going to pour in a pound of elbow macaroni uncooked, which is I love about this recipe, okay? So then we'll give it a good stir to make sure it's all nice and smooth. This is what makes it so creamy. I just love that. Then we're going to take our sides. Let's do Philly cheese over here. And I have two types of provolone. And then we will do the Vermont sharp cheddar. Slight edge, as I said. I did debate whether I'd put cheese whiz down the middle uh, for those, those Philly fans that like the cheese whiz, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is cover the pan. It's gonna go in a 350 degree oven for a half an hour. Then after that, you're going to take the foil off. You're going to dot it with butter, a little bit more cheese, and it's going to go back in for about another 20 to 30 minutes until it's just really bubbly and brown and yummy. And now is the real fun part. So lots of lobster down in South Tamiami Trail brought me over three steamed lobsters. They probably sell the most lobsters in town by far. We use them all the time on New Year's Eve. They even make their own New England clam chowder. So all you Patriot fans, lots of lobster. Remember that. And they're taking their orders now. So what I do is I just kind of put the lobster on top. And you can cook to have those steamed and just ready to go on that. And then we'll do the Philly cheesesteak side 
for our Philadelphia fans. And we'll put that right over there. And I was sad to see, you know, Gentilly Brothers. It's really authentic. Um, they're not open on Sundays. So you can either buy them without the bread or be beforehand or make it. But look how easy this was. So I think we have a winning recipe. When we come back, we'll wrap it up with a taste. And we'll talk a little bit more about the dessert style. It's macaroni and cheese fan or Philadelphia macaroni I am and cheese both. Fan. I'm sitting on the 50-yard line on this go. one. There you go. You'll yeah. just eat it while mm. Justin Timberlake That's delicious. Enjoys. Both of them. Thanks. Really easy recipe, actually, for the macaroni and cheese, and you'll find it on www.mysuncoast.com. Just click on recipes and go to that dining page and sign up for our contests and local events. But I also have to mention, you yep. know, they have great New England clam chowder, homemade from lots of lobster. That's oh, a good place. And a big shout out to Christine Nordstrom's at Five O Donuts. Boston cream donuts with, of course, our colors, red, <gasps> white, and blue wow. for the New England Patriots. And apparently tasty cakes, which come from Philadelphia, which I never knew. Oh. They, she went to like 19 stores to get them for her donuts. So order that? your Philly donuts or your New England donuts. And John? It's a good foodie day. <laughs> Scott?